takes off nice. How's the uh, glide slope? Uh, let's take it up a little bit here. All right, right. Let me trim up neutral flight. All right, that's good. And glide. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> and it drops like a rock. It does drop like a rock, but it glides nice. So, like, watch, watch. Yeah, I'll hold back on it. See? It just. Nero. I don't know. Maybe thrust angle or something. Right. All right, let's bring it in. Okay. Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about wiki wiki mixing like this. Wiki wiki mixing. It's kind of, yeah. All right. Mixing's good. It is. But it's never done because it's intimidating. That's right. What you can do with mixing, you can take a plane that's generally really great, but maybe has a little flaw, such as the Pioneer here, where you know you chop the throttle and the thing tries to take. What well, we said, yeah. we said in the earlier episode, dirt nap. A dirt nap. It, it yeah. tries to head to the ground as quick as possible. And yeah. The downside of that is, is when you chop the throttle, you don't want the plane immediately diving. That's could you try to fix that with trimming? You you could, but what would happen is if you trimmed it out on a glide yeah. and then you gave throttle, the plane would pour. Oh, up. it'd shoot up in the air. Yeah. yeah. I think what's wrong with this one is it has a thrust angle issue because everything when it's cruising around flies amazingly well. Okay. It performs great. Everything's good about that, but when you when you chop the throttle, that throttle that air is no longer there. The motor's not pulling in that direction. Yeah, it immediately starts heading to the ground. Okay, so we need to make a mix. We need to make a mix. We need to have elevator automatically compensate low throttle. Okay. In other words, in the form of a little bit of up, kind of like what you're talking about trimming. Right. Okay. So when the throttle is chopped, it has just a little bit of up trim in it. Automatically. Automatically. Okay. Now other applications for this is uh, say you have an airplane mm -hmm. like the Scimitar, mm -hmm. and the Scimitar actually had to have a few degrees of I believe it was right aileron put in it because when you go full throttle there's so much torque from that motor it would try to bank okay so they'd actually put some trims in there and other planes have rudders mixed in a rudder mixed in so when you give it full throttle it doesn't want to kind of crab off because the torque of the motor yeah. either so lots of different mixes you can even compound your mixes you can have throttle tied to elevator aileron and rudder if you wanted okay but by that time you should just start looking at the problems you have and yeah. fix some things but overall this is a good plane just we need yeah. to adjust uh, the mix we want to make a glide slope exactly we want to make it when we chop the throttle the plane continues on its trajectory and doesn't change too erratically because imagine you're five feet above the ground motoring on in yeah. and then everything's cool you're cruising neutral neutral right. throws and you chop the throttle and it goes bah. that's dirt bad. nap everyone will make fun of you it's not good so what we're going to do is we have a computerized dx8 here we are going to dial in a mix Okay. All right, and what we need is a little bit of up trim. Now, it's important, put this on a switch. So if you don't like it, you can immediately go back to the way you're used to before because if you got down on the ground with bad mixes, you know, you can, you can, you can do, always it again. do it again. You can always do it again. So make it so it's not always on. Once you're happy with it, then you can lock it into an always on feature. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do that right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to mix. Mix right. mode. Mix mode. Do the little wiki wiki thing, because I can't do that. Wiki wiki. All right, we're an aileron rudder. We don't want that. We want mix one. We're gonna assign it. We're gonna go ahead and go to there we go we're gonna go throttle yes and we're gonna mix it with our elevator sounds great all right there's elevator yeah we're gonna go to the second one which is on the low range and let's go to something like 24 percent oh let's get crazy let's just get crazy okay okay now i'm looking at my plane right now and the elevator is physically going up yeah always check to make sure that the control surfaces are doing the, the movement you want and right now it's always on i'm gonna go ahead and sign this to the gear because i'm really good at finding the gear there we go. So now when I give throttle, the elevator should drop, and nice. it is. And I'm gonna turn it off. Gotcha. Got it? Yep. See that? So right yeah. now, that's how no, I did nothing. That, that would be as if we just made it. Okay. So we can always fall back to that. And what we'll do is we'll go up a good mistake high or so, and we'll go ahead and try the experiment again where we chop the throttle. All right, Okay. sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off in normal mode. All right. And then I'll go up there, we'll flip it on, and we'll, we'll go ahead and try it. Okay. Cool? I'll do it. Here we go. Love the way the thing looks in the air. The silhouette. It is cool. Little flying wires and everything. What's with the flying wires? Is that just for looks? Well, back uh, back in the day, I think they called them drag and anti drag wires, but that's what held the wings rigid so they didn't uh, break. Oh. All right, so I got the mix on. I'm going to chop the throttle. Look at that. Much better. Much better. And let's see how the glide slope is afterwards. Now that's hands off. Nice. I like that. Very cool. Okay. And when I give throttle, you can see it doesn't go ahead and pull hard up or anything. Right, yeah. Just like it did before. Yeah. And here, we'll do it again. 
much better. Can we see it off one more time just to contrast? Yes. It's turned off. Mixes off. And chopping it. Yeah. <laughs> there is a stark difference. And look, yeah. I just went ahead and turned the mix on. That is nice. And then you can tweak that out to uh, to be exactly how you want it. Change it a couple percent. It may be all the world in difference. Now I'm going to go ahead and I have the mix turned on. I'm going to go ahead and bring it in for landing and see if it's a little less stressful, okay? Okay. Look at that beautiful guide slope. We'll give it a little bit of throttle. See if we can hit Chad. Nope. Oh. No so luck. Oh. No such luck. Well, it makes the plane safer. It does. I'm going to hit people with it. So I like that mix. That's a good mix. Look good. It looked good. Now, if we say we had issues where it was constantly pulling one gate full throttle and it is a skid on the rear tail wheel, we could dial a little bit of rudder in to keep that torque from carrying off. But with that cute little small prop there, it's not going to be pulling anything. It is adorable, isn't it? It is an adorable little plane. It just kind of captures the imagination. It does. But Give it back. there was one downfall, which I consider to be a big downfall because this is probably a, a beginner to intermediate four channel. Um, it shouldn't be doing things like that. Yeah. So we, we corrected that problem. I think it's going to be a super airplane from this point on. And now you know how to mix. Now you know how to mix. Wiki wiki. All right, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks Stone Cat Productions for sponsoring this episode. Go to our website, flighttest.com. Check out the forum. Check out the articles. Chad cap right up on the forums. And we are not sponsored for right now. So if you guys want to Stone see Cap. some cool stuff from some other manufacturers, from some other uh, suppliers, Email them, call them, do whatever you have to do to say, we want to see your stuff on yes. flight tests. And here's the beauty of it. There's a lot of small companies out there that have a really brilliant idea and they're small. They're not, you know, big like Hobby King or E-Flight or Horizon or, or you know, Midwest or yeah. whatever. They're, they're small. And we want to get them exposure. We want to get them exposure too. So by all means, give a shout out to those guys too. Push them. Maybe we can get their product on the show. Absolutely. All right. See you guys next see time. Next time. I want you to fly this. Okay. Chad is trying to fly with the reflector and I don't think it's going to work.